everybody, welcome to Tech Lines. So this week I'm on my travels again and I'm working at Presswick at our search and rescue base at Presswick Airport. Um, I've come away from the hotel this evening. So the last two nights I've fished on the shore and I was hoping to get you some footage. Um, I've done a bit of LRF in on air pier on Tuesday night, rubbish. And I went to a place called Donair last night where I fell over and kneecapped myself. Again, no fish, so no footage. So this evening I was going to go to the shore again to another mark that uh, a good friend Will told me about. Um, but to be honest with you, the conditions aren't great, the tides aren't right, and there's a really strong wind. So I've decided this evening to come inland, and I've come to a place called Loch Dune. Um, not Loch Down, but Loch Dune. Um, it's about half an hour from where I'm staying, and I fished here two years ago, and done okay on the fly. I had two fish landed, and had multiple fish rising for the dry fly, so it was quite a good evening. But with this wind this evening, I've opted not to fly on the fish. I've opted to not spend my night fighting with wind knots. So what I'm going to fish on is my ultralight gear, um, eight pound braid, six pound leader, and on a size two MEPS. But I thought what I'd quickly do is just run through with you how I set this up. So again, like I say, six pound, eight pound braid, sorry, a six pound fluorocarbon leader. And then running down to that, I've got a, a number two VMC quick link. Um, I found these to be really, really, what's the word I'm looking for? Reliable. I've never had one bend out on me and they're, they're really, really good, strong, small, light swivel clips. And then attached to there, I've got a size two silver MEPS. Um, but one thing to remember, folks, is if you're fishing catch and release, which is my intention, I don't have any intention of keeping any fish if I catch any, um, these are a real pain to swap out the treble hooks. And quite often you'll try and take them apart to swap it for a single hook and they won't bend back. So all I do is take my forceps, which I've got here, and just squeeze in all the barbs. And it just, it's a bit better for catch and release, it's a bit better for the fish, um, and a bit more humane. So nice little tip there, just remember to crimp those barbs in if you're fishing catch and release. So I'm gonna have a wander down, I've got my wellies on because it's looking a bit soggy across the peat. I've had a good drive around the lock, um, which took quite a while actually. And this is really the only area where I fished before that's accessible from the roadside, apart from trudging through the bog. So I'm gonna have a wander down. I'll see you down on the bank and hopefully we'll see some fish or two. Also, while I'm at it, there's a sign just there, Osprey viewing area. So there's a small chance, I doubt it with this wind, but there's a small chance we might see an Osprey, which would be really cool. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Oh, thank you so much. Today, we hit 600 subscribers over the moon. I've 100 subscribers in 18 days. That's magnificent. Thank you so much, guys. I really, really, can't emphasize how much that means to me it's it's really cool really really cool so thank you if you watch the videos and you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing please like and share the videos and please leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see in the future i'm on the ferry tomorrow i've got to drive up to ullapool another five hours north of ayrshire up to ullapool and i'm getting the ferry once again across to lewis um, working at stornaway so hopefully we'll have some really cool action for you there i've got some good trips planned in the evenings all right guys thanks ever so much tight lines Right, this is perfect. There's a, like I said about the wind, the wind is blowing right up this lock. Um, I've just managed to get, found this little place where I caught up last time actually on the fly. I've just got myself tucked behind this little rocky outcrop, which has got out the wind, which is great. So I'm just gonna have a flick here and see how we get on. Um, not sure what my hopes are. What I am gonna do is just work my way along this shoreline up to the um, I guess it's a damn wall, I suppose. Damn wall. Yeah, I'm gonna have a wander along there over the next hour or so. But we'll have a cast, see how we get on. Tight lines. Been going for about probably half an hour, 40 minutes yet without even a touch on the MEPS. So I've just changed it up a bit and I've just put on this little Rapala. Well, I've just put it on actually, I haven't cast it yet. Um, number four Shad in a little rainbow trout color taken off the two trebles and I've got a single number one VMC lure hook on the back. Um, it's quite a deep swimmer so I'm just going to give this a bit of a rattle. It's got a little rattle to it. Give it a go. Um, the blue and silvers are deadly. Um, I've had all sorts of fish on them, perch, all sorts, you name it. But I'm going to give this a go. Let's see if we get any joy, eh? Right, guys, I've just come over here to the wall. Ah. And um, just to get out the wind because it's completely picked up, I thought I'd snagged into a rock. And actually, 
got myself a perch. A Loch Dune perch. Who would have funked it, eh? There we go, look at that. Beautiful. Stunning take as well. So it goes to show the predators are about. Brilliant. My first ever Scottish perch. Absolutely chuffed to bits with that, man. Look at that. I honestly thought I'd snagged a rock. Brilliant. I'll get a photo of him and we'll get him back. Great stuff. Sorry about the noise, guys, if you can't hear me properly. The wind's really kicked up. But that wasn't the intended species, but I'm absolutely over the moon. It's the first ever time in all these times I've been fishing in Scotland I've ever caught a perch. Like I say, it's not the intended species, but it's still very, very, very welcome. So I'm just going to have another 20 minutes around here, see if I can get the lure into that corner. And um, Yeah, well chuffs. Not a trout, but still very welcome. Happy days! Right guys, I'm chuffed, I've caught a fish. So I'm gonna head back now, it's getting, not, it's not late at all, it's only about half eight. But I've got a long day tomorrow on the road and then the ferry crossing, so I'm gonna head back, get myself sorted out, put this video together and get it up here before tomorrow. So thanks for joining me guys. Again, thanks for the 600 of you that have taken the time to support me and give me a subscribe. It means an awful lot. Check out the merch, have a look online on the Facebook page guys, on G's Tight Lines and on my personal page details on there on how you can go about and order it and pay for it um, and then I'll put the order together when I get back in a week's time and we'll get the order through. So we've got this cap which is the snapback pack cap, we've got the flexi fit cap and the stickers and the t-shirts, don't forget the t-shirts. All right guys so one perch tonight wasn't the intended species but it saved the blank and that was on the little rapala there, the little brown trout number four rapala shad. So get yourself online guys, and grab a load of them because they're bloody deadly. If there's fish there, they'll have them. And there was the one fish there tonight and it had it. So guys, thanks for joining me. Next time I'll see you, I'll be way north up in um, the Isle of Lewis on Stornoway. We're gonna have a bit of an adventure about up there. I've got some bait gear with me, um, the usual lure gear, fly gear. So we're gonna have a bit of a mixed bag of methods up there and see what we can get out of those rich, rich waters up there in Stornoway. Guys, take care, tight lines. Mm -hmm.